hi guys. Hmm. Uh, to get that start. Right. Right, I sound like funny now. Um, hi guys. Today I'm doing a well, the first of my back to school series because August is finally here, and I'm kind of excited for school, but that's my uniform. See the tie. The school's just getting blurred because it's a bit. Even though we have a school uniform, I will do an outfit one for you, hopefully. And so this is the first one. So my first one's going to be school supplies, like my bag and stuff, which I've got laid out behind me. Only if you could see. So first, to start with my choice of bag this year, I chose a backpack from Peacock. And it's got two front pockets. And if you undo this, move that down. All the inside. Phone pocket and a zip. It's quite big and long. You could leave it wide open if you had so much stuff in it. So that was from Peacocks. I think I've already said that once, and um, so it's only the actual surprise, but it's just a bag. So the first thing I bought this year was this book binder thing. And it's got these, that's just the paper. If I'm honest with you, that's just, there we go. It's got these blue dividers in it. There's five of them. First three of them, if you look. Ugh. So quite miss it is lined. And the next one find and the next one is lined again. The next one I don't know if you can see that. Uh, as you can see it's math paper. I'm bending my book and I haven't even got to school yet. And the last one is an art paper. So I'm gonna label each of them for certain lessons. I'm taking. It also went and got a four pack of coloured sticky notes. Now we can get these from anywhere. It's just them that back so I can show them better. We've got some the pastel colours because I think that contrasts with my planner because yeah. And um, I I can tell that they look really light but they're a bit darker than they're showing up. I got them and they were a pound so I thought they were good because they'll probably last me all year to be honest with you. And then I got the bendy ruler because it's always awful when you go in there and you move well and your ruler breaks if it's bendy. I'm not gonna stop it and it's clear. Look at my eyes, I have loads of them. Yeah, so I got that, and that was from Tesco's, but you can get it from any supermarket or probably school stationery shop or anywhere because they all have them. And I'm scared I'm coming off all the time. Let's just go there. Then I got these big colouring pencils. I know it says kids on them, but that's only on that part. And you get black, purple, dark blue, light blue, dark green, light green, yellow, orange, pink, red, brown, light ear brown and dark brown. So, as you can see, they'll do me and then I, another big thing I got is I've got these mechanical pencils now they're just normal not colouring ones because they had black ones and they had these ones colours you get blue one, a pink one, a green one, a yellow and a blue one and they were £3.99 and you can get them basically from anywhere so I got them I also got this binder yeah, let's go back to I think it was about £2 from Wilkinson's and it's just 
filled with I don't know what you actually call them if you can remember what you call them comment down below I'll probably remember straight after Siaga that's what you call them and you might be saying you've got that but fat but project book um, that'll be for taking notes and like any writing homework but then so I was doing a post up I put in here and keep it straight so I got that and then I had this last year obviously it's still supplies so I'll show it it's an Oxford education supplies school geometry set obviously if you're not taking geometry that's on me yeah you don't need it I don't know how much this was because my mother got me it I'm telling me to oh. you get you get you actually get no, it's backwards for you lot no it's backwards for me you get your own stencil for your lettering I think it's good you get your thingy protractor you get the the I don't actually know what you call these, we've never used them. That was not part of it, what I'm about. Then, you get now what this is for. I have no idea. It's like a compass. It's got two points on it. So you get them. Sharp enough for the pencil you put in your compass. Now you might be saying to me, but you'll have your pencil. You get a mini ruler, which are what you just sit in really nicely. So I keep them all in here. And it actually did have a rubber last year and a pencil. I used them, so I just. I thought last year I had normal pencils right up until the last term. I bought these staples. HB ones, so we'll and the reason I'm showing you one of these from last year is because we haven't had a chance to buy them yet. We'll go buy them right last minute because just pencils and I won't need them till art or math. So if I have maths on first year, they will have to just live without me having a pencil once I've got it. Yep, so I just get HB ones because you need you can't shade or do art. Mechanical pencils. Then we've got a correction set because Tipex is just a waste of money when we can get the fluid, the tip, and the pen for just a pound at Yorkshire Trading. So I've got that, and then I'll need the rubber out from pencils and a shaft for my colour pencils and my HP pencils so I got this duo and I took them out because I was really excited of Helix so to open this one you just take the little clear bit and the second one and it takes all in and I still have oh, there we go I finally mastered how to put it back together and sharpen it and just sharpen straight into it then, oh, it's full. Oh, just empty it out. That again. Looks like a pretty good shaft, and I don't know if you can see it in there, but it doesn't look that bad. I'm starting to get confused with what I've shown you. And then, oh, I got this hourly pencil case from the range, and I absolutely love it. It's proper cute. And then, Right then, so this year my granddad gave me some of the pens that he collected when he was little. I'm doing these colours. That one's the only black one. The park pens. So obviously I know not everybody will be able to get their hands on some. So, you, any pen. If I'm honest with you, you've just got to find what's right for you. Some people like little ones like that. Other people like fancy pens. So, I'm just going to leave that up to you because, seriously, that's all I've bought. I've got this one, and you should get ones like that. But all our teachers ever know 
Click and roll, so you, uh, give me a lesson, yep, you get to click your pen, and you know, I'll put it back in to end it lesson, so that's why I think they'll be a good idea. Oh, there's clicky pens. Ah, kill these clicky pens. There, I've got a pack of five highlight pens, and they're about 150. And I'm not too bothered about brands for highlight pens as long as they work and you get a few colours because sometimes we're highlighting different things and I thought having different colours would be good. I'd take at least three. If not, I try to squeeze them all in my bag. I also take this jumbo glue stick. I get them in a pack or two for about a pound. You can get them from anywhere, any shop that sells stationery will have some form of glue stick. So I'll just carry one with me. And then I've got a Casio scientific calculator. Now you can for my school take any scientific calculator. But these are the ones I don't know how to get it all on the screen with that. Ah right then. You can use any calculator you want but these are the ones you use in your exam so they recommend that you use so you get how to use them so Mum said that'd be a good idea. And then, some honest for you, a pound, and these pens rub away. And yes, it's open. I have tested them. They don't rub away completely. You can tell you've wrote, but if you make a spell mistake, and then you go, through, your teacher reads through it and says, "Oh my, oh my God, you've spelt blah 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 all the wrong." You go search up your dictionary. You have to cross it out, and your work looks so neat. Anyway. That's what happened to me in English quite a lot last year. That was in we have years, so you start off with reception, nursery, no, so then you have reception one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I was in seven, which is the beginning of high school, and that happened to me a lot. And the teacher said, "Oh, don't worry about making mistakes. It's a working book, but I like mine to be neat." So it really annoyed me. Sorry, uncomfy. So I got them because I thought they're probably not going to work, and if they do, I'll just use a pen. It's quite a fine tip, if I show you. You can have a look at the tips. Ah, I'm losing everything. See how fine that tip is compared to. I better put it on so it doesn't dry out. Ping. We've been away and, and it works, so I'm loving it. Because also for tests, sometimes I am a bit messy with my science tests. So I decide to write something different. So I realise. I've got it all wrong, so that's good. And if I'm honest with you, I got these from Morrison's. The 10 fine liner pen, and they were £2. And you get the same amount as these ones that were 6 And last year, if you have a look at them that way, um, in as maths, if you won, you got choice, and they had these in. So, and everybody wanted them. So, people must like them. So they're good. And what the heck? Ah, yeah. Now these are actually school supplies, but these are things I like to carry around in my bag for those days. So a deodorant for after PE or on a really sunny day because you don't want to be going outside at break time, relaxing, and you're going in and you're all sweaty for your next class. You don't want that. This is just a sure roll on one because just cause. And it's um, from Fragrance Collection, so it smells better than normal things. Still doesn't smell brilliant, to be honest with you, so that is why I take a body spray with me. The moment I haven't actually bought the one I want to take, the one I took for after pee last year was this Charlie Enchant, and it smells. I don't know what it smells like, but basically I wouldn't recommend a body spray. It depends what you like. You might prefer perfume, but if you go and um, just test them out, find out which one works best for you. Also, taking a lip balm. This is just one from Boots. You can get any, and I find it's just very. It's a high moisture one. 
because I hate it when my lips are dry because they look awful and if I'm honest with you, I'm a person with really dry lips so that's best and also body lotion or body cream, whatever you know, just plain old body cream rub, 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 rub. I like this one because it rubs in very easily because on those sunny days and you go outside and you look you sat down and realise you've got really chalky legs that's not good so you've got yourself covered and your friends if they forgot to I don't know which way to hold it you can say I got you covered so I take that and I'll take a brush to brush my hair because it gets all tangly after PE and stuff like that let me move all them and then the last thing is it's not something you can buy I don't think it's just made out of card it's just a triangle and I got given this last year on the last day of school from one of my absolute best friends and if she was on YouTube I would link her down below well, I'm sure she's not and um, they made them because took them up, it's supposed to help you think and honestly I got given it just before a test and I found it works so I'm going to try and keep it in good nick but yep and I was also going to show you not only that but something I keep on my desk this is just a set of mini drawers um, and I take things I'm going to show you I actually take about a bunch so in the top drawer I have I don't want them to fall out. These clippy things, and I take a bunch of them to school because if you want to put papers together, it's good. And I've got some big ones. I take a couple of them if we're doing projects on big paper because they're just so much better than putting loads of little ones on it. I also have, now I'm not going to show you them ones because I've got some better ones. These clips that you could farm like the bulldog clips or something and I put these in we get given a planner I don't know oh, I've got nails on here just grab it grab it grab it grab it so I didn't buy a planner because we get one in my school no wrong side get given one so all I do is open it up and I just clip it in every because we have a page for a week so I clip it in to um, keep me on that week and any import pages so that's very useful so and I don't need to show you the drawers there's just some black ones in there and in here I have some sharpener and some fancy slip pins which I don't really use but it, oh, ah, so far not. the drawers I really do use so I think that's it for my first in my back collection. So sorry that this is like two months ago, I think I did my last video. Sorry I had exams at the end of school like on my test, so Bob said, No YouTube in till you finish school. Then I went to my grandma's. She has no internet and I was there for two weeks. So kind of this is my third week of my holiday, so I'm just that trying to do you one every week at least if not two um please comment down below any back school videos you would like me to do i'm going to be doing makeup tutorial hair tutorials and some other ones that i think you might find useful so like and subscribe to my channel please and i hope you enjoy this video so i'll see you in my next one bye guys